Michio Kaku is once again making waves in the scientific community. The James Webb Space Telescope has identified three ancient galaxies comparable in size to the Milky Way, and Kaku believes these challenges traditional cosmological models. According to him, the existence of such massive galaxies in the universe's early stages is impossible under the conventional Big Bang framework. He argues that those who continue to support the 13.8 billion-year-old Big Bang theory are refusing to acknowledge its flaws. Michio Kaku is among the most well-known scientists of our time. While he has not won a Nobel Prize or made groundbreaking discoveries, his strengths lie elsewhere. Kaku excels at simplifying complex scientific concepts and bridging different fields of study. His curiosity, openness, and ability to convey knowledge in an accessible manner have made him a best-selling author and one of the most influential science communicators of our era. When he challenges the validity of the Big Bang Theory, he does so with strong reasoning. Even before the remarkable discovery of ancient galaxies at the universe's edge, Kaku had already questioned our current cosmological models. He argues that textbooks contain outdated information and that mainstream science continues to promote an obsolete perspective that has been unsustainable since the mid-1990s. At that time, early evidence emerged suggesting that the universe's expansion model was flawed, yet the scientific community largely ignored it. Three decades later, the JWST is reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Long-standing assumptions are being overturned, and we are on the verge of a new astrophysical paradigm. How can scientists continue to assert that the universe is 13.8 billion years old when none of the measurement methods have been definitively verified? Were you taught in school or university that this figure was an absolute fact? If so, Kaku suggests that you were misled. Science has never been able to prove that the Big Bang Theory and the age of the universe are truths. We live in an age in which scientists like to tell us theories and assumptions as truth, but that must end now. In his books, Michio Kaku warned against the arrogance of researchers for a long time. With the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, conservative researchers aim to solidify long-standing scientific theories. They deployed the most expensive telescope in history with confidence, expecting to confirm their prevailing models while the world eagerly awaited its findings. When JWST captured its first deep space image in the summer of 2023, scientists anticipated definitive proof of their assumptions. The telescope was expected to reveal the universe's earliest galaxies and stars' images of primordial galaxies forming in the young cosmos and remnants of the first population, the three stars, that illuminated space. But when the first images arrived, they delivered an unexpected shock. JWST exceeded expectations, capturing a breathtakingly sharp image filled with thousands of galaxies. The oldest ones appeared as reddish smudges in the deep field image. However, a closer analysis of their light signatures led to a startling revelation. These ancient galaxies appeared to be so old that their origins would predate the Big Bang itself. This directly contradicted the long-standing theory that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. Instead of confirming expansion, the findings challenged its very foundation. For decades, the idea seemed unquestionable. A massive explosion gave rise to the universe, which then expanded over 13.8 billion years into what we see today. But how did this theory originate? Around a century ago, astronomer Edwin Hubble observed that distant galaxies were moving away from us, suggesting that the universe was expanding from an initial point. This idea laid the foundation for modern cosmology. However, as early as the mid 1990 AS, evidence began to emerge that this assumption might be flawed. Some scientists proposed that Hubble's observations could have been misinterpreted or even the result of an optical illusion, but the idea of an expanding universe 
remained widely accepted. Despite mounting contradictions, researchers continued to build upon the traditional model, only to face repeated challenges. Now JWST is revealing galaxies older than the supposed age of the universe, the expansion theory itself is called into question. Additionally, the telescope has exposed a critical measurement error in our understanding of cosmology. If the universe were expanding in a straightforward linear manner, different measurement methods should yield consistent results. However, they do not. This discrepancy is known as the Hubble tension. The JWST has confirmed these measurement inconsistencies, suggesting that the expansion theory is, at the very least, not definitively provable. Yet despite this, many researchers continue to insist that cosmic expansion is an undeniable truth. Did you know that the cosmological model we rely on today has never actually been proven? Before JWST, no telescope had ever directly observed the Big Bang, the Dark Ages, or the formation of the universe's first stars. Much of what we accepted was based on theoretical calculations and approximations rather than direct observation. Now, JWST has revealed three remarkably old galaxies just as large, structured, and developed as the Milky Way. This discovery contradicts expectations. Scientists anticipated finding chaotic proto-galaxies, wild star clusters, gradually merging into larger structures. Instead, they have encountered galaxies that were already fully formed 13.6 billion years ago. If our own galaxy supposedly took billions of years to evolve into its current grand and structured state, how could these ancient galaxies have reached the same level of complexity so early? When scientists describe a galaxy's beauty, they refer to its high degree of order, spiral arms, disks, and well-defined shapes. The prevailing theory suggested that galaxies started as chaotic clusters, gradually evolving through numerous collisions into their present forms. Even today, we observe galaxy mergers producing larger, more structured systems. Based on this, researchers historically assumed that cosmic order emerged from an initial state of disorder. However, JWST's findings challenge this assumption, revealing that highly structured galaxies existed far earlier than previously thought possible. To maintain the 13.8 billion year old Big Bang model, researchers are now exploring ideas suggesting that matter formed much faster than previously believed. Their goal is to fit the existence of these three seemingly impossible galaxies into the traditional cosmological framework. Sounds unbelievable, right? Yet, this is exactly what's happening. Even John Mather, the Web Missions project manager and a highly respected scientist, acknowledges this line of thinking. Meanwhile, Michio Kaku remains critical of traditional scientific limitations. He argues that it is simply unrealistic for galaxies larger than the Milky Way to have formed within just 500 million years after the Big Bang. No matter how much conservative researchers refine their calculations, the fundamental problem remains. We do not truly understand how matter was created, when it emerged, or how old the universe actually is. Dark matter? Dark energy? None of it is proven. Our current cosmological model is reaching its limits. The Lambda CDM model, the backbone of modern cosmology, may no longer hold up, and Michio Kaku understands why. In his writings, he has repeatedly pointed out the flaws in our understanding of the universe. The Greek letter Lambda represents dark energy, which is believed to drive the universe's accelerating expansion. This concept was introduced as a way to explain observational data, but did you know that the existence of dark energy has never been definitively confirmed? If our models of galaxy formation are now being proven wrong, this could also suggest that dark energy was merely an artificial patch in our theories. The same applies to dark matter. CDM stands for cold dark matter, which alongside dark energy is thought to account for 95% of the universe. 
Yet to this day, there is no direct evidence proving that dark matter even exists. It's mind-blowing, isn't it? That 95% of our universe is explained by nothing more than an educated guess, and that scientists are now dismissing real evidence just to cling to these uncertain theories. Michio Kaku, however, remains grounded. Despite selling millions of books and being regarded as one of the greatest interdisciplinary researchers of our time, he is never rigid or arrogant. In his writings and interviews, Kaku emphasizes that multiple interpretations of reality are possible. He continuously reminds us that true understanding comes only through direct observation and experience. At his core, Kaku is a quantum physicist. This field, which explores the smallest building blocks of matter, seeks to explain reality from the perspective of light and the microcosm. Quantum physics studies how tiny particles come together to form atoms, molecules, and ultimately visible matter. Quantum and particle physicists investigate the fundamental fabric of the universe, analyzing the forces that shape our reality. But one striking fact has always stood out. Quantum physics does not align with the Lambda CDM model. For decades, traditional scientists dismissed this inconsistency. Even Albert Einstein famously struggled with quantum mechanics, resisting its implications because they didn't fit within his established worldview. The reconciliation of quantum physics and cosmology could bring us closer to understanding the universe. Kaku is among the few researchers bold enough to tackle this challenge. He is a strong proponent of string theory, which suggests that our universe operates in more than just four dimensions. However, string theory itself still has unresolved issues, preventing it from fully explaining the cosmos. For Kaku, this is not a failure, it's part of the journey. He remains realistic, stating that until theory and observation align perfectly, we will always have only fragments of the full picture. But will we ever reach a complete understanding? On this point, Kaku takes a refreshingly open stance. When asked if we will ever fully decode the universe, he often laughs, embracing the mystery with humor. To him, not knowing everything is not a weakness. It's a testament to the boundless possibilities that the universe holds. Want to explore more? Subscribe to the channel now. The best videos are yet to come.